Alright guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we're going to be talking about Sid Reigns who is going to be getting his rework, his FR, and his BT weapon. Not only that, but we also have Zande who is going to be getting a rework with the upcoming Pandemonium Spirits event. Now, we don't know the exact date for when that event is going to be dropping. Uh, the community live stream has not aired just yet as I am recording this video. It's going to be airing this coming Monday uh, whenever uh, you are watching this video but we're still going to go ahead and talk about uh, the characters that, that are going to be featured with the upcoming banners for this event and whether or not you should pull for them so do let me know down in the comment section below what your plans are going to be if you're going to be pulling for Sid Rain, Zande, uh, the Emperor himself because because his BT is going to be reran, you know, so on and so forth. Do let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, if you can't tell already, uh, I do sound a little bit stuffy. I am a little bit under the weather, but uh, to get the content out there for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and record this video now, so that way I'm going to worry about it later and uh, you know just get things out the way. So, uh, but yeah, guys. Other than that, though, let's go ahead and jump into it and let's talk about their reworks followed by whether or not you should pull. So Sid Raid's rework to his skill 1 gains 3 uses. It increases his brave by 30% then follows up with an AoE HP attack 2 times. It also extends his cavalry command buff to 5 turns. His skill 2 gains 2 uses and now deals 2 HP attacks with brave potency increase. His EX passive now adds a 40% brave damage up totaling 80% a 20% Brave gains up totaling 40% and a 20% Stolen and Gained Max Brave Overflow up now totaling 40%. His EX increases Brave gain to 50% of Max Brave, gains an increase in Brave Potency and deals 50% Splash Damage. Now his LD buff that he starts off the quest with now starts off for 6 turns. It turns into a 3 hit AoE Magic Brave plus a single target HP attack four times followed by another single target attack with brave potency increase. His impact strike which is the follow up that he gets midair gains a brave potency increase per hit. Now with Vayne as his partner, Sid Reigns FR moves the party except for self at next turn after self and selected ally will act first then launches the target followed by an AoE HP attack three times that deals splits HP damage. It increases the party except self brave by 50% of the HP damage dealt. His FR conditions are as follows. A 20% increase whenever the teammate except for said Reigns initiates a knockback. A 30% whenever Reigns initiates a knockback. And a 20% when teammates participates in the knockback per character. Now, Sid Reigns BT Plus deals a 10 hit AoE Magic Brave plus an AoE HP attack 2 times that deals splits HP damage. His BT effect lasts for 6 turns. Now his BT effect does the following. A 50% party Brave damage up, a 30% party Brave gains up, a 30% party HP damage up, a 50% uh, party H, oh, excuse me, Brave damage cap up, and a 30% party HP damage cap up and during the knockback the party will gain an additional 20% HP damage up totaling 50% and also a 20% HP damage cap up totaling 50%. Now his BT follow up that he gains whenever his BT effect is active uh, deals a 2 hit magic brave plus an HP attack 7 times that ignores defense and recovers 50% brave after each HP attack. Now with Zande, his rework to his skill 1 gains 3 uses. It deals a 4 hit fire dark magic brave plus a single target HP attack 3 times that deals 20% splash damage 2 times after the last HP attack. His skill 2 gains 2 uses. His quake deals a 6 hit AoE rock dark magic brave plus a single target HP attack 2 times. His quagga deals a 5 hits AoE Rock Dark Magic Brave plus a single target HP attacks 4 times that deals 20% splash damage 2 times after the last HP attack. His EX passive increases stolen max brave overflow by 20% now totaling 40% and his EX is ready to be used at the start of quest. His EX now deals a 3 hits AoE Rock Dark Magic Brave plus a single target HP attack 5 times. It grants one level uh, to his overhead. 
Then his LD now deals a 4 hit AoE Rock Dark Magic Brave, plus a single target HP attack 5 times with Brave Pointy. Increase that deals 50% splash damage 3 times after the last HP attack. His overhead adds a 40% max Brave up and when dealing weakness Brave damage adds a 50% stolen Brave damage up. So let's talk about the banners and whether or not you should pull for any of the characters depending on which banner you're going to be pulling from. So with the first one featuring Emperor's entire kit with Sid Reigns FR and the returning LDs of Zande and Pora, uh, we're going to start off with the Emperor. So the Emperor of course he is known for his traps. I mean he is able to inflict a good amount of traps. He is able to just, just basically just spam his uh, HP++ command and make it so that his traps can trigger on his turn. So of course there's going to be uh, a pretty good amount of damage output uh, out of him. Uh, his skills are overall deal some pretty good damage as well but like of course like his biggest thing is going to be like his traps and whatnot and if the enemy does not allow to be to be uh, inflicted with debuffs then he is pretty much going to be screwed over very very hard but aside from that uh, aside from his traps and all that good stuff and I guess like one of the uh, the cons about his kit if of course the enemy does not allow to get debuffed uh, his uh, BT effect focuses on increasing the brave damage only so brave damage up brave damage cap up and that's about it so of course he has no hp damage cap up at all within his kit no hp damage up i mean he does have his buffs and whatnot that is able to increase the hp damage up for himself but other than that that's pretty much it uh so his bt effect is not really all that it just really increases your brave numbers uh in between those trap attacks uh, really, the biggest thing about him that would help him out tremendously is going to be uh, pairing him up with like supports that is able to provide a good amount of brave gains, and especially if said support uh, has a BT and it does have HP damage cap within said BT, then that that would help out his damage output tremendously. So uh, I would say Emperor, he's not a bad character whatsoever. Now that he is going to be getting his force enhancements, it'll definitely improve uh, his uh, damage output, but he still definitely needs to be paired up uh, with a strong support. Uh, to be able to increase his damage output overall. Now with Zande, uh, Zande, I mean Zande, I mean everybody has looked down on Zombie. Let, let's be honest here. I'm like I'm, I'm not always gonna, I'm not gonna be uh, over here trying to, to like praise, uh, praise the guy. So Zande, uh, he does have party dark enchant with his, within his overhead. I do believe you do have to reach uh, a certain amount of uh, levels on his overhead to be able to provide that to the party. Uh, he is the only caller, uh, LD call ability to provide uh, party wide dark enchant. So I mean, like if you are considering maybe trying to get it for you know for that type of utility uh, for the future, then uh, Zande could be a pretty good option, which actually could actually be a good thing to chase for his LD if you have like a, a an extra amount of tickets uh because uh with dark knight sets dark knight sesso uh, approaching uh his uh, call ability would actually be pretty pretty convenient to have pairing up with uh, dark knight sesso whenever he gets his fr and his bt so you know that that could be like one thing to consider like if you are uh, wanting to get like uh, all the all of the uh, call abilities for like those type of situ uh so for like those type of like event situations so on and so forth uh his damage is all right but he has no brave gains at all within his kit, so he definitely needs to be paired up uh, with some strong support to be able to keep up with the damage output or I guess like the rework that he just got. Uh, so he, he definitely needs a very strong support at that to be able to help out with his damage output. But like I would say the only reason you would probably chase for Zande would uh, would have to be to use him uh, for his uh, party wide uh, dark enchant whenever it is needed. But other than that, I would say like you could probably hold off on it. And then with Porm, Porm provides uh, great support. She has good party auras, great battery, uh, especially with that follow-up that she gets, which that follow-up also provides a little bit of a gravity effect based on the amount of total uh, party-wide HP that you have will equal the value to the amount of uh, gravity that she will shave off uh, the enemy's brave. So uh, Porm, overall, sol solid support with uh, force enhancements uh, will definitely help her out with uh, her damage output, but uh, not too bad. P a pretty solid support for an LD-only unit. 
Now with the next banner featuring Sid Rain's entire kit, and you also have the returning LDs of Layla and Lulu. So uh, real quick for Layla, uh, she is able to direct the attacks to her via an aura, so she does not need any type of debuff to direct the attacks to her. She is able to evade uh, attacks, incoming attacks, and she makes it so that whenever she evades the attacks, uh, she is actually able to drag not only herself, but also her teammates uh, in front of the enemy whenever she does that. So a uh, pretty convenient uh, thing to have uh, within a character. And and then she has some average party ores, nothing really to brag about, but like, you know, it's it's there. You know, it's something to add on top of like any other party ores that you uh, uh, you may or may not already have. So uh, overall, Layla, I, I don't think she's really chase worthy or anything like that. I think, you know, she, she definitely had uh, her time to shine, but I, in my opinion, I don't really think she's chase worthy at the moment. Uh, Lulu, she provides true fire enchant, so that means that she is able to add uh, on top of any other elements that you have uh, enchanted currently on the party. She is able to add uh, fire to that so that it will actually count. Uh, let's say especially if you need like an FR ability, uh, let's say example like a magic FR ability then that requires uh, fire, uh, then uh, Lulu's uh, uh, true fire enchant uh, would be pretty convenient to actually have. Uh, uh, aside from that, I mean really like you, you you're probably going to be using Lulu more, uh, more so as a call ability. Her LD call ability also provides uh, true fire enchant, so that's really like the only reason why you would consider uh, pulling for uh, for Lulu. Like Lulu is not a really uh, a character to honestly brag about, in my opinion. And finally, the biggest prize for the banner is going to be Sid Reigns with his F4 and BT. Now, of course, Sid Reigns. Now that he's going to be getting his BT. I mean, the damage output that this man gets now, especially when you do have that brand new follow-up from his BT effect active, is freaking insane. I mean, like 7 HP dumps on top of whatever ability that you use uh, beforehand is pretty freaking nuts. And especially uh, if you do have the HP damage bonus percentage at a high number, best believe Sid Reigns is going to be dealing damage and he's he is going to do that with grace. He is going to do that exceptionally. Now his BT effect, of course, you know, granting him his brand new follow-up and whatnot. Uh, some players may say that uh, aside from the strong BT effect, and all that good stuff the fact that his bt effect is short at six turns may not be something that a lot of players might not be a fan of uh but in my opinion though like for it being six six turns i mean like it's not going to be a bt effect that you that you really want to last forever like it's not going to be like one of those like bt effects where like you want to try to get the most out of it because like really the whole point of sid reigns is basically just to straight up deal damage so like when his bt effect is active you better make sure that you have everything properly set up so that you do not waste a single turn from that BT effect. So, you know, equip uh, Sid Reigns with the Luna Freya call. Then that way you can activate uh, his FR. You can activate uh, his BT. And then afterwards, you could jump into the BT phase with him. You know, there, there are, uh, you know, and that's, of course, just one example. There are many different ways that you could probably, not say many, uh, but there are a couple of ways where you can actually um, make it so that you can get the most out of his six turn BT effect. And, that, and that's really what you want to do uh, with Sid Reigns. Now, uh, more Brave gains for higher damage output would be perfect for Sid Rain, so that way you can get the most out of him since again he is straight up going to be dealing damage and that's that's what that's what he's going to be doing uh now selfie the reason why i put, put this on here is because uh selfie is Sid Rain's uh best friend for his fr because remember uh when it comes to his fr uh, whenever a uh, a teammate is able to participate or initiate a knockback uh selfie's uh debuff from her LD ability is going to help out, help out tremendously, so that that way, uh, before you go into the into the uh, BT phase for Sid Reigns, if per se you don't have the Luna Freya call, then if you want to make sure that you have the most HP damage bonus before you go into the BT phase uh, with Sid Reigns, then it's best to pair him up or use a friend support uh, selfie to be able to get that debuff active so that way everybody is able to uh, initiate the knockback sequence you know what I mean so like it, it's it, it's it's in my recommendation at least for my for my uh, usage uh, with Sid Reigns to to have her on the team use her as a friend support and take advantage of that debuff so that that way you won't be losing out on whatever HP damage bonus percentage you get whenever uh, it's let 
whenever it's let's say your teammates uh, turn or anything like that you know what i mean so uh in my opinion though like sid reigns for him being a very strong damage dealer you know even though he may have like a small con to some players but to me i don't really see t uh, t to me for for his bt effect being short i don't really think that's gonna be like uh, a reason why i should not pull for his bt because i am planning on pulling his bt at sfr because i mean like it's pretty freaking insane what you could actually do with his kit but in my opinion though i don't really feel like that should be something that should de de deter players from uh, from not pulling for his kit he is very much a strong worth worthy character to pull for his fr and his bt uh he does get his fr echo pretty early on uh whenever the uh whenever we jump into the fr echo uh era and uh <laughs> i mean i mean talk about making him overpowered like i mean he he becomes freaking insane with his uh, fr echo especially when you pair pair him up with like other uh characters who is who are able to uh use fr echo <laughs> <laughs> uh let's let's just say like he becomes freaking insane and the, and again the fact that they give they give his uh, fr echo to him at a pretty uh relatively early it is pretty pretty insane so uh sid reigns in my opinion definitely worth pulling for you are definitely going to get uh the most out of him like he is definitely worth pulling for in my opinion so uh but uh, other than that though guys that's pretty much going to be it for the video let me know what you guys think about the upcoming banners and whatnot down in the comment section below and of course if you're gonna all gonna be pulling for him you know so on and so forth so uh but uh yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video take care i'll catch you guys in the next one